how to behave, how to react according to what, what traumas we get or what experiences we get and how we process. Our society has created a behavioral pattern. Or you're supposed to do this and do the other and behave this way when this happens to you. And then we get these personalities of behavior that this is how we're supposed to act, almost like one of these uh, game shows where the love shows, right? Where you're supposed to pick the betrayer or pick the good guy and you can't tell which one is which. And then you've got all this shame and, and deception and all of these words that are negative behaviors and jealousy and rage and shame and embarrassment, right? I, I'm telling you because I just lived this last week. Just last week, it's interesting how we're bringing this up right now. It gives me an opportunity to bust this out is we have this ego that gets built because what you're speaking about is the ego, right? You're, I, I believe you're speaking about the ego and the ego gets built and formed by the way this society that is this negative mind that is forming onto us what is not a part of us because it is innate for us to express love, but we hide and we guard our love. We, we don't share that love because we have to protect it, right? We have to protect it. And then the ego plays out all of these jealousy and, sh and, and, and shame and, and spite and all of these behaviors we become because we're protecting the love. We're protecting that love, right? doesn't matter if it's love for a family member, love for uh, just love in general. I just wanna say just love in general. So we have these walls. So I had to face these walls that you're talking about. And I knew I had to face them, but I didn't want to because it hurt so bad. So I got the shot of tequila and I said, I'm taking it down. Mm -hmm. I went through a journey of love with my twin soul mate. And I put it on my YouTube so you can see my journey through this process. What it is doing, this process that I have with this man is he is reflecting what I have to see deep down in the deepest part of my heart because nobody else can get there. But he did because I, I allowed, because of, I love him so, to get in and to hurt me so bad that it's my hurt I already have. It's the hurt, it's the pain I already have had since I was a child, right? And so when mm -hmm. he beat me down for 12 rounds and I just made it the last round, I used to be a professional boxer, so I use this terminology. You know, I barely made it out that last round and I came out with the win. I came out with the win because I found self-love through that journey, you know, through the, this, the, the neglect that he, he showed me, to the rejection he showed me, all of these things he showed me was already what I had inside and I knew it and I knew I had to face it. And I put it on that video to show how I came up with this appreciation for the self. So if he can't have love within him, how is he gonna show it to me? And I'm doing that same thing with others. So I must confront and have self love within me so my cup can be full and I can fill the cup of another and his cup can fill me. And so it's that, that I give and I receive feeling, right? And, and it's perpetual and it never ends, uh, that feeling. And that's what we got to attain back. And so when I thought I was done, he calls me uh, after not speaking to me for a month and just left me hanging. And I, I had no idea what happened to him, right? He calls me to tell me that he's in another relationship with somebody else. You know, I'm in, I'm in shock. And, but I knew it at the same time, right? I'm in shock and I knew it at the same time. So it's like getting out of the ring after 12 rounds, making it that last round, get my ass beat. And then I go to the parking lot to leave, you know, uh, the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. And he comes over and he fucking runs me over. Runs me over, runs my heart over with the car because it wasn't enough to take me through 12 rounds. He had to come run me over. Mm -hmm. But I knew that I still had more deep down inside. So it wasn't about what he did to me. It's what I still yet have to see within myself. Because guess what came up? Ego. Ego came up. Ego came up. <laughs> then I started feeling rage. And I started feeling hate. And I started feeling jealousy and spite. And I was going to get this motherfucker. I was going to get this motherfucker. You know, that's how I felt inside. So all that sadness went away. And it just went into this fucking rage. And because I'm a self developer because I know that I must face myself through these experiences, I didn't want to fucking see it. I said, I know it's ego, but I don't want to deal with it. Give me tequila. 
And so I took two shots of tequila and just sat with that, sat with that. And I'm thinking, what am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do now? Cause I got all this fucking emotion and I don't know what to do with it. Because it's not enough just to go hit a wall. I still got the emotion. And those mm -hmm. are talking about that don't belong to us. The hate, the rage, the jealousy. Those are not ours. They, they are not part of our species. They've been taught to us. And I know that's what you're okay. talking about. I'm like, I don't want to face the ego right now. I'm mad. And I want to feel this anger. And I want to feel this rage. And guess what? We need to. We need to feel that. But then we got to look at it. But then we have to look at it. And the next day I said a prayer. And in my prayer, I talk about it on some other uh, podcast that I do because that, that prayer was profound. It took me to another level. But in it, I said, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of nothing. Yeah, I'm not afraid of nothing. Then I said, oh shit, that's not true. I had to catch myself in my own contradiction. I was afraid yesterday to face ego. I was fucking drinking tequila. I was afraid to face ego. I said, let me take care of this right now. Let me take care of this right now. And I began a prayer. It's like prayer and meditation because meditation is to receive information and prayer is to project out. So I was praying and meditating. And I said, what is this ego? What is it? What the fuck does it look like? And then I saw these walls. I saw these walls while I was standing on a board like a plank, right? And these walls came up. And I was like, oh, shit. Ego are walls that we put up to hide. To hide a heart feeling and to hide from the judgment of others who will see me as humiliated. Talking about this love experience mm -hmm. I had with David calling me and telling me I have another woman and, and now I feel all this rage because I'm humiliated I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed because it's online and people can see it after I, I give my love and now I, it, it's rejected, it's embarrassing, but I said I'm going to fucking break these fucking walls, is what I said and I fucking shattered them with my mind and I said I let go of jealousy I let go of rage. I let go of shame. I let go of embarrassment. I let it all go because it's not mine. It never was. And when I accumulated them as a child, I let them all go because that's what I'm blocking. That is my block. These walls will not allow me to be free. To love and express. Mm -hmm. And that changed me because I, I want to just finish up. Letting that go and saying, this is not mine. I'm free. I became free to myself, free from my own blocks of my own mind about what other people wanted me to do and how to behave in society. Because now I'm supposed to reject David for humiliating him. I'm supposed to reject David and never love him, even though I love him dear. I love him with all my heart to this moment. But I'm supposed to not ever be with him and never show love because I'm supposed to be embarrassed and ashamed. Well, I'm going to say that that's a weakness to be embarrassed, to be ashamed. Those are weaknesses. And when we call them strengths, they're actually weaknesses. When we hold back our love, it's a weakness. When we share our love, that's a strength because it takes courage. It takes personal honor and respect to be able to show love at all times. And that's what I found is freedom. That I can show my love at all times without any worry about it decision about how they look at me because that's how I looked at myself but I, I don't anymore because they are walls, ego are walls to block us and now that I've broken shattered the ego because I couldn't find what ego was before, none of us can, none of us have because we're told that ego is the self well I can't let go of the self, that's, that's me, how am I going to let go of me right, that's like saying hey get rid of your left leg because it's fucking with your right leg, no they, they got a balance. I can't get rid of one or the other because they help me move forward. And so when we're told that the ego is the self and we're supposed to get rid of it, it's like, wait, 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 wait. Contradiction right there. So it is this ego, our walls that we put within the soul that does not allow our soul to have the courage to have love. It takes a lot of fucking strength to have it and not to be worried about what anybody thinks. Because to this day, I still love David, regardless of the pain that he showed me I had in myself. 
Now he has his own process that he has to go through, but this is my process. And this is what I have gained. And when we recognize that our window of perception is what we get, we get intuition to become sharp. We get this power of awareness that we can project into the field and pull out information and have a knowing this is what we get when we do this. When we line up within this mode and within ourselves, this is what we get. This absolute clarity so that we can walk forward. Evil can stand right there and you can break. And the reason you can break evil is because evil is not brought down with force. It thrives off of force. The force of mm -hmm. fight. What I'm giving now is force, but this force is of knowing. And this is what we have inside. It's this knowing. Because what ends up happening is when we take evil and we expose it, because that's how you get rid of evil. You expose it with truth. But that truth we have to get within ourselves because it cannot lie to us and play us on jealousy, hate, shame, rejection, because we have cleared that path and broken down those walls. And it's a powerful thing to have love back and forth.